Light the shit up. Oh. Light, 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 light the shit up. Oh. Let's go. Yo, 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 you should already right know it's the hyped up hippie. It's your man, Hell on Wheels. Coming live with you from my house. What's good? What's cracking? It is a beautiful Thursday evening, March the 24th, here in Inwell, West Virginia. Oh, man, your man, Helen Wheels, been busy, been busy, man. Been working, been doing some house projects. This weather's getting better. Um, and I'm out and about doing my thing. Y'all know how it goes. Sun's out. Get the guns out. It's almost tank top season. Um, definitely my time of year, man. Springtime, everything kind of warms up. My whole body loosens up. I feel good. I feel good. Uh, man, so I'm going to kick off today's show with the biggest news that we have since the last time I talked to you. Tough Man! Tough Man's got a new champ, and he goes by the name of Challenge Accepted. My God. Uh, great W from my man, Challenge. Um, he was able to uh, secure his jacket. Uh, big ups to him, man. Couldn't have been more proud to, to be there. Of course, that went down on my birthday, so uh, made it a little extra special for us. Uh, it was a great time. Uh, super happy to see Keenan get that jacket. Some great competition out there. Always a fun event, man. Super, super hyped. Anytime I get to go out to a tough man contest, it's a blast. Um, Mad respect to, again, the, the, the fine folks of the West Virginia Athletic Commission, man. They show you, man, Helen Wheels, nothing but respect, uh, which is just a big change from where we were a year ago, you know, before they had really seen what I do and what I can do. Um, so I was uh, extremely happy to see those guys again, be able to uh, to be there uh, for my guys. That was also something that I thought was really cool, but different about this year's Tough Man, right? Uh, being there with my guys from Winchester Boxing. Um it gave me an opportunity uh, to get to know a lot of those guys on a different level, right? Going through a fight set up with them. And with it being tough, man, right? It was several fights. Um, because outside of Hunter Adams, who won the Elkins Tough Man, shout out Hunter Adams, all of our guys in Martinsburg advanced to the second round. And any of our guys they did lose lost to the person that was eventually the champion. You know, Chris made it to the finals. Uh, David, who... Straight out of a boxing 101 class, man, put on a show. I'm going to get to that. Shout out to my dude, David. Space Monkey won in the first uh, in, in the first round of the tournament. So, so it was it was good. But it, it was good to gel with my guys in a fight environment. Not, not a sparring environment. Not training uh, in a fight environment. Uh, because Hell on Wheels is a different character, right? He gets the braids going. He puts the shades on. You don't know what he's going to do. You don't know what he's going to say. Um... But, but I, I love, and I absolutely love it. You can ask any of my guys this, man. Hell on Wheels is always down to go with you to a fight, help you get ready for a fight, any of that stuff, man. I've drove five, six, seven hours uh, just to be there for a teammate, man. So to have it in my backyard, to be able to connect with my guys from Winchester Boxing, kind of build a bond. You know, me and little Mike, we hung out first night out in the crowd. Second night I was with my guys. Um, you know, Chris and... As I said, David and Space Monkey and Keenan, you know, a small group of us, man, but it was it, it was just a blast, and I learned so much about all the guys. It, it uh, just w was a was a great experience, and, and you can't cap it off no better than, like I said, Challenge uh, was was able to be victorious, and then Hunter Adams the following week went down to Elkins and snatched him up a jacket, man. So uh, big congratulations to 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 those gentlemen, right? Um, but now Tough Man is over, man. It's on to the next. Um, and the next for us is April the 9th. We got Smoker, Winchester Boxing. Come on down and get it. I ain't going to run from you. I'm right here. Come on down and get it. Uh, fighters arrive at 11 o'clock for check-in. Athletes, excuse me, arrive at 11 o'clock for check-in. Uh, actions to start at 12, man. Promptly at 12. 
Uh, maybe we'll have our partners from Five Star Nutrition out there to uh, to help you guys reach your fitness goals. Please come on out and check those uh, lovely young ladies out. It's always a good time. If you're looking for wreck against hell on wheels with this smoker, man, just shout at my dudes at Winchester Boxing on Instagram. Winchester Boxing is on Instagram. I'll drop it in the comments below for you, though. Um, and you can get hooked up, uh, match up with your man, Helen Wheels, or, or anybody else that happens to show up. It is an open smoker, so anybody that shows up can and will get it. Um, I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, my man, Muffin Man, shout out to Muffin Man. He slid by the crib the other day. We were just talking, and, and I got to watching some of my old matchups. Um, and I really have seen where I've improved, right? Because, um, you know, some of those fights that I was watching, uh, were five, six, ten months ago. Um, so it, it was uh, it was able to allow me to see the fight differently than I saw it the first few times I watched it. Because you know, as you evolve and you move up the ladder and you uh, you kind of level up in this boxing game, you start to see things differently. You start to see them as a calculated move, a setup, a trap, um, as opposed to just going out. Rah, 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 rah. Um, you know, uh, being a little more of a tactician uh with what you're trying to do as far as having a game plan and going out and executing it so really really looking forward to this so this is our march smoker at our may smoker we talk about our may smoker i don't mean to skip over our april smoker i'm gonna talk about our may smoker that smoker i'm looking to put together in conjunction with my folks at winchester boxing um we're gonna put together the Tough Man Tournament for Wheelchair Boxing, in essence. It's not the Tough Man, right? That's Jerry saying. Uh, but what I am what I am uh, throwing up is, is basically the same rules, man. So you're going to come in, you sign up. Let's say there's, for sake of argument, there's six athletes to compete in the Wheelchair Boxing Smoker. You come in, this guy draws a one, this guy draws a two, draws a three, draws a four, draws a five, draws a six. One verse six, two verse five, three verse four. And then on to the next, right? Um, so do a tournament style bracket. Uh, I do have a local company that that I'm, I'm like 99.9989 percent sure will take care of a trophy for us for this event. So if you're interested in some adaptive boxing action, it means wheelchair boxing, guys. Um, please get in touch with me directly, and uh, and we'll get you set up. Look, a lot of people said a lot of things about me. In general in the wheelchair boxing community um this would happen if i went here this would happen if i fought this guy this would happen that would happen i'm still right here the other thing i'm still doing is waiting for a call back from the fine folks in the uk fine folks in mexico and the fine folks in canada come on man let's get this together let's get this done uh, i'm ready to go my passport's ready keenest passport's ready man we're locked and loaded and we are ready to roll um, so man, I'm not trying to be on here and be boisterous and talk a bunch of smack, but I've been doing what I've been doing now for a minute. Um, and I love still being able to compete against your traditional boxer, man. They sit in the chair, we bang it out. And I love that. And I appreciate everybody that's put themselves on the line and we've, we've been able to compete. I appreciate you. Um, but we do want to move it more towards me focusing on the platform and moving it forward as far as adaptive boxing goes i already fully understand i'm probably going to, have to compete at the paralympics and powerlifting to get my name to these guys i'm already completely aware of that uh because there's just there's just not a lot of guys that that, that want to come out and compete so uh, i'm hoping you know to get qualified there a uh, little, little, little bit of powerlifting you know has got a muscle or two um so that man i can meet some people get some other guys or gals involved in uh in the sport of adaptive boxing so really looking forward to that i do know that at either the may or july smoker date and i said yeah my man dustin paulson aka wheels man the guy's got cojones he's gonna run it back with uh with hell on wheels should should be a good show man uh i'll be making another vid before then i'm sure uh, shout out to my man Wheels, though. This kid, man, has, has just got cojones. Um, and I got nothing but respect for him. Man, he comes out, he competes hard. He's not on the internet the next day being like, well, this didn't go my way, that didn't go my way, this happened, that happened. Man, he just, he's just on to the next, man. Uh, great, great young man. Uh, really looking forward to catching up with him and seeing him. 
um, and, uh, and and putting together a new turbo oxygen smoker. So let, 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 let's get on with the get on with that. Um, as far as other things, uh, we're still diving into the sit down comedy game of Hell on Wheels. Look, I'm not doing stand up, man. My people don't stand up. It's culturally biased, that shit. Um, y'all people always with your fancy working legs looking down on me anyway. So, man, let me get on the stage. Let me see the top of a couple of y'all's heads a few times. Let me see what y'all got going on. Um, but I definitely feel like, uh, I definitely feel like I'm ready for that. I've been working on some skits. Um, so if you do have any type of interest, man, as far as you're in a nightclub, a bar, things of that nature, you want to book your man, Hello Wheels, come out and make an appearance, tell some jokes, man, I got you all day. Um, literally, man, I got jokes on top of jokes on top of jokes. And if you don't believe me, ask your mom. Um, so I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to that. Also, uh, anybody interested in some commentary? Hey, uh, text, yeah, Camp Mountain State, you got good commentators. They're all right, Chase. They're all right. They know it's boxing, but they ain't hype, bro. Holler at me, real talk. Holler at me. Now, Jerry, man, your stuff was hyped at the top, man. You, you know I mean, I ain't watched pay per view because I was there in person. But the stuff you were saying in person, man, it was hype. But I'm telling you right now, man, hell on wheels to put it down with the mic. Just put the mic in front of me and shut up. I got this. Um, but, man, please reach out to hell on wheels as far as that goes. Trust me, I would much rather be telling jokes than getting punched in the face. Most people won't believe that. But uh, that is most definitely a true statement, man. I, I love making people laugh. I just like to let my uh, my hell on wheels hang out, you know what I mean, and uh, and do things my way. It's it's just different, man. So I like it. So we got a lot going on in the next couple of months, man. It's getting warm. I'll be having my daughter more and more. Uh, now school's out, you know what I mean. It becomes more uh, where she'll be with dad. So super excited about that. Um, she'll be coming to her first fight this summer. She was going to be at the smoke this past smoker. It snowed. The gentleman that was uh, slated to square up with me messaged me early in the morning. Said, hey, man, I'm not going to be able to make it. I completely understood. Uh, you know, because he had travel from a ways away uh, in order to do so. Uh, hopefully, he'll get in touch with us again. And uh, we'll be able to uh, we'll be able to make that matchup happen uh, for the fans and for your man Hell on Wheels. Um, so, I mean, y'all know how it works, man. Please check me out on Snapchat. Ladies, holler at your boy. Tell me the ladies don't wear my third one does. Y'all don't already know. Check me out on Mondays, man. It's chest down. I'll let you feel my titties. It's a good time. Uh, check me out on Snapchat. Check me out on Instagram, Facebook. And as always, guys, get that money.